I think there's there's some other stuff too. Well, just you can control some of the little things that that go along with that. Um, when, like I mentioned, mentioned phosphorus availability and, and that being tied up or other nutrients in general, just not available when it's that cold. So you got to make sure that you're doing what you can, if you plan on starting earlier and, and getting stuff in, doing what you can to make sure you got a plan in place to, to have that, that nutrition available to the crop. Um, so that, it's not stressing, it's not struggling, it's not wasting time or energy trying to, to find that nutrition in the soil because like, at two degrees Celsius, there's there's nothing going to be really available for it. So um, yeah, just making sure that you you can control that stuff and and you're addressing it. If you plan on going early, make the the plans to, to give that crop the best start possible. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really good point, just making sure that nutrition is you know, as close to the seed as you can without harming it. Um, so that plant isn't uh, using up too much energy, I guess, to go find it. And uh, especially with it being cold. And I know like for myself, and I think we saw some results last year on the incubator farm, just how important having that nutrition available right off, the, uh, right at the beginning of the season, starting that crop off, right, really helps with that. Um, the root growth, the root exploration can gives it that extra energy to dive deeper, find more uh, nutrients and moisture throughout the season. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I like, I really want to make sure those plants are starting off on the right foot by having a complete nutrition available right off at the beginning of the season and then supplementing with a foliar throughout. If, uh, you know, if we continue to have cold soils, let's say spring stays cold, maybe that's when you can look at foliar foss options to make sure your plant is getting that kind of energy boost it's, and through a form that is available to that plant and not having to deal with any of the uh, nutrient interactions going on in that soil, good or bad, I guess. 